I'm gonna do do do. Are you gonna come through here? Yeah, I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna hug it from the front. Okay. Lift it up. I'm a sun and under city lights. All this doubt around me, then but look, I got it right. Don't you try to hit me now, you live a petty life. All those nights I laid awake, I pray for better life. Now I wake up with a baddie like I said I might. This is better life. BMW. Yeah, I'm good like that. I'll just, you know what? I'll try. I'll just throw the dollies on it right here. I think I can get the dollies on from the back. And I know I could go that way. I just don't want to get stuck somewhere. It's, right. it's not too soft up there. I don't think it is. I think I'm just gonna put the dollies on real quick and then uh, just go up a little bit, back out, and just back right out of here. I think that'll probably be my best bet. Alright guys, we're out here on these two junk cars. Got this one and a Ford Thunderbird, but we're gonna try to get this uh, loaded on the dollies real quick because it's got two flat front tires. Alright guys, that was a pain in the ass. I had to hook these so wide just to get it out of here because they were deep down in that hole right there. But... I got them on right now. I'm trying to figure if I should just pull up some and back out of here because this is in the way or if I should just go around. But we got to get that Thunderbird too. And just back out of here. Look, we got that one over there. We're going to pick that up right after this. I think we could back out of here. We'll see what he thinks. Yeah, you'd be surprised, man. I just grabbed the pain, I'm really going for an even coat Jesus took the reins, cause God ain't going out of season though You can join our table, I know it's no fun to eat alone Even if you feel alone, you don't gotta be alone Greatness in the <laughs> all cars She's pretty tight, so I'm gonna end up jacking her up a little bit Try to get her in there, but Try to even lift her up a little bit, but she just ain't going. I'm gonna have to get a jack and lift her up real quick. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're just getting this uh, Thunderbird back. Yeah, we're just getting this old Thunderbird back. Huh? Let me know if y'all want a Thunderbird. We got this old BMW. My first ever BMW I've ever owned. Five twenty five I We got our Azuzu's over here. I'm gonna call it in tomorrow to get this uh junk run. See if they can't get up here to me tomorrow and uh pick these cars up. No sodas. Ain't no sodas left? Yeah. Maybe that's a sign. Tell me I don't need no more. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, y'all put these signs up, and I did not expect them to start taking off like that. I mean, those signs have taken off. They have uh, yielded me so many different calls already. It's unbelievable how many calls I've had already just because of the few signs that I put up. Maybe uh, 10 signs. I don't even think that much because uh, I know like three, three of them has been taken down. So I know there's only a couple signs up and they ju I just hit them in those really good spots to where there's traffic every day, people just riding by every day, so it's just yielded so many phone calls. Honestly, like, I've at least gotten one phone call a day, pretty much. Since I've putting them signs up, I've pretty much got one phone call a day. It's pretty good. Then I got something bigger for y'all coming up here in October, you guys. One of the first biggest steps we're taking here at Minuteman Recovery and on Jack TV. And there's another thing. I mean, there's just... <laughs> There's just a few big things that are coming up here in the next uh, month or two. So, actually, between the next two months, that's what I should say. Between the next two months, there's so many things that's happening, so many things that's going to be going on. We're going to be growing a lot. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video, smash that subscribe button, hit that comments, and hit that share button. Go ahead and tell me what you like junking. Tell me what your favorite junkers, what you made the most money off of. Just tell me what you guys are hauling, what you guys hauling with. It doesn't matter. Leave it in the comments below what you guys are doing out there with your towing company. All right, guys, so we're out here junking these cars today. Um, just took a Ford Taurus that we just bought down the street, literally right around the street of the house that burned up the other day. T's and P's to their family, too, by the way. I gave them $300 for that Ford Taurus, sold it for six. This is Zuzu over here selling six. This is Zuzu selling for six. Bought them each 300. That's 900 dollars, and we're making 1,500. Quick 600 dollar profit. Had the cars a couple days. Didn't take nothing but 300 dollars a piece to make 600. Got two more cars. Got to get them sold as well. Keep watching, boys. I'm gonna show y'all how to jump these cars. You hear me? And I'm up here throwing signs. I'm doing work. I'm putting in work. I'm putting in time. I'm putting in effort. And it's paying off. I'm getting calls on these junk cars every day. I'm buying them up, buying them up, buying them up. Depends on what it is. You try to get them as cheap as you can, but you want to put pay as nice too, so you can keep the word out there that hey man, he does pay top dollar, and I do pay top dollar. So if you got a junk car right here, holla at me. Got this is Zuzu. Went ahead and lifted her up. Did everything I got to her. So didn't cut no cats off of this one or that one or the Ford. Yeah, they are money. There's a lot of complications to get to them. Then you got to wait for the guy to come. I got cash money right now to quick flip it and go get more cars. Every once in a while, if it is the right car I come across, I will load it up like these Azuzus and that Ford Taurus. They have really good cats on them and they're worth some money. That is only if you can legally prove that you got that cat off a car that you bought. You know what I mean? You just don't go buy them cutting cats off and doing all that illegal shit you know what i mean that that's that's stupid shit go out here and do some legal shit for your money don't be out there doing stupid shit because these junkyards ain't gonna take it like they want id they want proof they want ownership they want titles everything so and if you ain't got no business license or anything like that then you're not gonna get out here and get top dollar for things do shit the right way all right, guys, right now we're running a GPS. We just got um, an email from Hopkins. Just came through with uh, GPS on this person. And, of course, their GPS is offline. It's not working. So we do got uh, a last known address about 15 minutes away from their address. So you can see it has a yellow battery. Meaning that the battery's disconnected, it's not in service, and the GPS is not working at that point. But it did give the last known locations, and it does get like a boost of signal here and there, and updates it every once in a while. So we'll probably go ahead and get them grabbed up in the morning, early morning. Not gonna mess with it right now, being that I know it's sitting there, so it's not going nowhere. So we'll just go ahead and grab it in the morning. All right, guys, so we just ran the GPS on the repossession we're about to go after. Right now, it's just sitting in this location. I don't know if it's in a development or what. It kind of looks like a development. From what the history of the GPS is saying, the battery is dead, so to say, or ours dead, or maybe not working no more. I got a lot of people that complain and say, oh, you should just dip and run, this and that. And I do on some occasions. Like, it depends on the location. 
if it's a real bad area for violence and all that good stuff, yeah, I'll, I'll hook and dip, you know what I mean? But on some of these buy here, pay here, most of these buy here, pay here, and even some bigger companies like CAC, which is credit acceptance for some of you guys that don't know, stuff like that, they ask for keys around here. I don't know if credit acceptance asks for keys around where y'all do it, but here in Maryland, Delaware, they want the keys if possible. It's not a big breach of peace or anything like that when a customer comes out. No, it's not anything like that. As long as we're hooked and a customer comes out and uh, says like, hey, put my car down, this and that, no. We are not, we don't have to put their car down. They don't tell us what to do. We tell them what to do. Some states are different. All states are different. Some states don't even require a repo license as long as you have a valid towing license. Some states are just crazy. Like Maryland, you gotta have a um, collection agency license, a bond, and then the insurance and everything. So it's, it's just different in every state. And like Delaware, you don't have to have a repo license. Virginia, you don't have to have a repo license, just a towing license, a valid business license. So it's different everywhere as you go. At least I do have the uh, space to turn around and get myself situated. They got some fucking dogs up in there, boy. It's hard trying to pull focus, hold a camera, back up, get the footage, everything. There they are. Guys, I'm getting so fed up with some of this stuff, man. Like, I literally just recorded that whole repossession and did not anything but the ending of me pulling out that goddamn driveway get recorded. God, this stuff is so stressful sometimes, man. Like, I sit here and try, and I got the whole thing recorded. I was there, fucking got it all on scene, got me picking the car up. Man, I got so much fucking footage, and all I got is me backing out the goddamn driveway, and you can't even barely see that because it's overexposed. But we're gonna get this up to Hopkins. I guess I'll do a run around there. But I was talking when I was up to this repossession. I was saying how, like, how this car was broken down, how everybody's asking, like, why don't I just hook and book? One good reason is this one. You don't know if the tires are popped, you don't know anything, and you don't know if the lug nuts are loose. You don't know what these people did to cars. I've had so many people be spiteful and pop tires and loosen lug nuts and do all of this shit so repossession agents have trouble getting their vehicles or if they pull off, something falls off. People aren't stupid, you know what I mean? And that's one of the reasons I don't. And they, like I said, there's a difference between a repo driver and a repossession company owner and a driver for that company, you know what I mean? I am an owner, so everything I do has a consequence on me, not you driving and then your boss gets the consequence. No, this is all on me, meaning if that fucking tire falls off and it hits another car and then that car hits another car, that's on me. Or something happens with DOT, that's on me and my DOT number. That That's going to flag my DOT number. That's going to raise my insurance up. And insurance is already expensive. You guys might want to might want to uh, overlook some things, but yes, there are situations where I do straight up just pull off. And like I said, if I'm in a bad neighborhood, or if I know the person has a history of violence, or if I know this person is going to try to get in their car and run, or if I've dealt with dealt with them before and shit like that, then yes, those type of things. I do just pull off on. Other than that, I usually just do that. I mean, the kids, the, there are people that have, that live in their cars. There's people that have all their kids' stuff in their cars and keep their money and wallets in their cars because people that live in their house steal things. Like, I'm not that dude. I'm not ignorant. You know what I mean? I have a heart. I have everything. Like, I've been repossessed when I was younger, too. So, I, I have a fucking heart with things. Stuff like that. Alright, guys.
out here uh, shooting the TikToks. Been real active on TikTok, man. So if you guys ain't follow me on there, go follow me on there. We're almost up to 23,000 uh, subscribers. Almost 100,000 likes on the uh, page there. So I know a lot of you guys came to this channel from TikTok, and I appreciate that. I'm starting to utilize TikTok a lot more to gain more followers here on YouTube because I want my base to be here on YouTube, not TikTok. But I do like using TikTok. It's pretty fun to do while I'm at work. It's pretty fun to entertain and joke around with people. I know a lot of people take that shit serious, but I don't take this app serious at all. You know what I mean? While I was in Baltimore yesterday doing that car band or two, uh, didn't really get nothing recorded but had to take one to Baltimore and this was the first time I had to go down in Baltimore it was outside Baltimore Dundalk area off of Holly Bird Ave and it was some logistics building but those uh potholes were so rough it literally bumped my mirror so bad it broke the freaking studs out of them my mirror was just literally just hanging off the side like up top here these were, they were bolted in still on these three but they were really loose but the top one up here was just hanging off, so it was just a mess. But went ahead and got some JB Weld up to the store and uh, got some more fucking Gorilla Glue epoxy if I needed. But went ahead and uh, epoxied these holes with that uh, JB Weld. They're pretty tight, so I'm going to let them sit for a couple more hours and then I'm going to go ahead and throw it back in. This past week's kind of been slower. Uh, this has actually been my slowest week <laughs> in a long time. It's okay, I've been able to get things back up, been able to get some signs back up. I've had people take signs down. I haven't been getting a lot of calls or anything lately because of people taking my signs down. People hating, other companies, just other people trying to do it too, or just people that just ride by and just hate. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people that hate, man. They hate that they can't do the things that you're doing, but I couldn't do the things that I was doing either. But you know what I did? I just went out and did it. You don't know what you're capable of till you actually get out there and start doing it. Trust me, in the beginning, it wasn't easy. It isn't easy to the end. It's never going to be easy. You always got to hustle for your money. You always got to work for your money. You always got to get that step ahead, plan that step ahead. So it's never easy. You always got to be on your toes. Got some more signs over here. I put up a couple more this morning when I came back from the gym. So... Hoping to get some more up today. If not, early morning when I get out the gym again, I'm going to throw them up. It's a lot easier because it's left tra ah, less traffic, all that good stuff. But And if y'all haven't already, make sure y'all go pick up your tub of towels, man. These things are great. I had JB Weld literally all over my fingers, everything. It cleaned it right off. Took everything off. Go get these, I'm telling you. I had the team from uh, Super Clean reach out to me. They sent me a bunch of products telling me, hey, can you please test it out and uh, let us know what you think. And if you like it, could you just please uh, mention it? All right, boys, y'all see where we at in the background? Yes, we up here at the Best Buy. We're about to run in. I got something I'm about to show y'all, something big for the channel, something about to make a big world of difference in the footage and everything, y'all. So stay tuned while I run in here real quick and uh, let's see what I bought. So I told you, we're out here and uh, we got some. Picked up a couple more SD cards as well. And uh, I'm excited, y'all. Let me show y'all what we got. We got that Maverick Air too, with that smart controller, boys. So I'm about to get home. It's a nice little sunset out here right now. I want to uh, be able to catch this drone a little bit, see if we can fly it a little bit, see what it's looking like. But uh, I'm going to tell you all, this footage ready to be dope, boys. I'm telling you, I kept watching my boy Hot Shot Benny just go over and over with that drone. And I'm going to tell you, man. It's been making me so jealous and it's something I've been wanting to do, but I had to put life aside for a second, you know what I mean? Or I had to put life in the forerun for a second and uh, just do some grown up shit before I had to be able to make this purchase. But thank God I'm in a position now. It cost 18 fucking hundred dollars, but hey, let's get it boys. We got a 2006 Suzuki Aereo out here in um, Easton and it's going to trap um, it's a little Suzuki area. They're real little, little ass cars, you know what I mean? 
super little cars. I don't even think I need dollies, but they put a dolly fee on there for me too. So they kind of made it worth my while. I mean, it's not worth it that much for driving 30 minutes. First thing in the morning, nothing to do, no calls in right now. So, and we got the drone too. So we're going to let that loose a little bit. Um, we got another call coming through now. Toyota Prius, Denton to Easton. So it looks like I'm going to actually grab this real quick and then uh, we'll pick this up and then take it to Easton and then we'll pick the car up in Easton. Yeah, I'm in a filming mood today. It's been kind of slow the last week because of people stealing all my signs. Not slow in like motor club accents, like I'm still getting every single one of them calls. I only do pick and choose a couple of them that they actually pay me deadhead and dollies and stuff like that for. All the rest of them I don't do, but I'm talking like slow as in the accents of like junk cars and stuff like that but that's also because everyone has picked up all my signs what we're gonna do is just take some of these motor club calls that we can do and do them and uh get some footage off of them for youtube as well so it's all worth it in the end we're just getting out here to uh coons with this first one we just got the uh dollies taken off unloading most of it i'm running real fucking late because i've had so much problems with this had to put the dollies on the front when I pulled it out because it's pulled in. There's no neutral release on here. Cannot get it started jumped or nothing. Then I pulled it out, unhooked the dollies just so I could hook it from the front because I noticed the parking lot is tight. You know what I mean? As you guys see. And then I unhooked everything, hooked it from the front, and then the fucking parking brake was stuck on. So then I had to hook the dollies all back up. So it's been a trip with this one. We got one more right down the street. I'm hoping I can get some better footage on that for you guys. Um, but other than that, we're up here at Coons Toyota. Gonna go ahead and get this unwrapped up real quick. Keys taken up and then we'll get up um, down the street here and we gotta get that one down to the auto shop or something down in Trap or it's going to a house or something, I think. Cause you said parking next to another car or something, but we're gonna do all that and then uh, get on back, putting more signs up on the way home from Easton. And then hopefully we get some more calls for them jumps. City lights, all this down around me, let me look, I got it right. Don't you try to hit me, now you live a Yeah, grab these keys up. Drop them off and... Ouch. Fuck this, put my finger on. Drop them off inside real quick. Then we'll go ahead and get on up to this next one. Hopefully we can get some drone footage. Alright guys, it was tight back there. And I had to put this in neutral. Back it out. But it is all-wheel drive, so got the dollies hooked up. You know, it's got a bunch of crazy stickers on this damn thing. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me at Jack TV. Same as the name on here. Same as the name on here. Same as the name on here. And I post a lot of content, more content than you see on YouTube. I post it all the time. There's a bigger following over there. We do lives, we do a lot of shit over there too, so come over there and follow us too. We're gonna get this right up the street till trap. Um, it won't start or anything. I don't know exactly what's wrong with it, but these motherfuckers, look. They got a bunch of cool fucking air fresheners, huh?